The horde is attacking. There is the raid. Oh, skeleton surprise. Look, another event. The more time you spend in the base, the more events we're going to get. We have a um, rather unpleasant surprise here. There is a fueling killing <laughs> all the creatures around here. There you go. There is a smell of sulfur in the air. But the dangers are still here in the shape of blue big things. Okay, we are actually back. I didn't want to do this, but... <laughs> Welcome everyone back to the Hardcore Permadeath series. We're having, a, we're having an archer here. <laughs> we are just back from a rather... I kind of want to say... Difficult adventure. Because it was difficult, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to delete some structures here because... Uh, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> some raids. So it was it was quite an adventure. I was super super exhausted after that. M mostly mentally because <laughs> you saw what happened when I tried to come down from the mountain. However, I decided to do some things and that is a way smaller base so that we do not attract as many raids as we are attracting right now. And in order for me to do so, I also need a base where I feel totally safe. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> when it comes to that, I wanted to go and have a base near the Elder location, right? So at this point, the only thing that I want to do is go get the cart, go get the resources from the ship, because I think we do have a ton of resources on the ship. So we can tear this down, right? Yeah, that would be better. And I want to move to the other location, so uh, I want to grab a new base. We're going to leave this base behind. I'm only going to take the important resources with me, which is mainly most of the resources. <laughs> so we're going, to have, we're going to have two or four carts on the boat. I am super, super duper scared of raids right now. I just don't want to see raids anymore. I'm I'm fed up with them after all that horrifying adventure. So I'm just here, just looking for some items. Yeah, we, we got a sea serpent. I'm gonna tear this down for obvious reasons. <laughs> so apparently, structures, any type of structure. Uh, oh, that was that was actually a bad idea. Any type of structure encourages raids or. If we're gonna have a workbench, that means more raids. If you're gonna have a large building, it means more raids. So it increases the chance of raids to spawn, no matter how you have your uh, difficulty for the raids, no matter how many raids you uh, you set up. Of course, that's a factor in itself, having a ton of raids set up like we just did on this world save. But, uh, yeah, we actually didn't need this. What am I doing here? Oh, come on. Uh, I do want to leave this here. However, let's just drop it by the entrance. But yeah, so any type of structure, building, large building, adds even more chances to the raid to be here. And I'm not sure what raids we're gonna have. I think it's gonna be the one with the fuelings, with the Agloth. I think we're safe from that. There are no flying creatures there. But for that reason, I want to go and uh, basically have a raid. Oh, we actually had those. So I actually want a raid-proof base. I don't think it's too much to ask. Oh my god, we're running low in feathers and basically every single other resource. So I want to have a ton of uh, arrows with me. I have to catch up because I haven't played this in like maybe close to... A week and a half, or maybe two weeks now. So, oh my god, boar meat is nowhere. <laughs> Still a ton of things. We have wolf meat. Yeah, somebody suggested we do the wolf meat. Let's just do that. Let's just see what kind of perks we are getting from the wolf meat. So yeah, we also have a ton of serpent. Oh my goodness, 420 carry weight. Uh, no. Okay, we can go and plant the... 
We also have some cloud berries in here. Running out of food. Probably shouldn't have done this. But yeah, let's cook the wolf meat and see what's happening. Yeah, just like this. So this is what I wanted to do in this episode, obviously. So that is uh, move to the new base in the dark first, underneath the other. So in order for me to do that, I'm also going to need to have better foods. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where am I going? The meat. Wait, wait. I'm just going to cook this because I'm curious to see how much of an improvement is it. 45. So 45 just like the deer steer. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> okay, we're going to drop it here. Okay, definitely the serpent stew will be amazing. I don't seem to see the serpent stew in here. Maybe I need the next upgrade for the... Yeah, I think we need... I think we need the onions or wait, 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 wait. Let's grab the onions. I feel safe for the future raids in this, except for the uh, cold wind from the mountain. I don't think... Dude, I don't think there are going to be Drake events right now, but I might be wrong. So, let's just do that. Let's just grab the resources here and uh, be on our way, be ready. Get ready to sail with all the resources to the new base. I do, I do think that first time I'm going to go there and just uh, prepare the base location and then we're going to go and grab all the resources and take them back there. So I'm going to have a ton of trips in this episode, like I said. I hope this will be a rather uneventful episode because we've had our share in actions and... Um, heart attacks <laughs> in the last episode so I wish we can just chill in this episode have a nice spot here in the base okay so let's see now we have some 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 something no carrot soup onion soup okay I do think I need to craft the hold on there's no room in here for the onions just gonna drop them here how are we doing on meads? That's what I want to see before anything else. We do have a ton of this. We have some frost resistance mead. Okay, we're doing relatively fine. We're not doing great. What I want to build before going out is... Hold on, where is it? Miscellaneous? No. Oh my god, it's right here. I wanted to build this. Three chain. No. Do I have three chain? Oh, I do have three chain. Unfortunate. And also three iron. I, maybe I do have to cook the serpent meat before anything else. Let's just see. How are we gonna? How am I? How am I gonna plant this here? Like this? Okay. Now let's see. Just want to wait for one. I don't want to screw things up because I can't remember properly if this needs more seconds. I'm sure of that. So great. There's a thunderstorm out. We can't sail today. But we. Ooh, I want that. I want that. So basically, the more structures you have, the larger of the base you have, the more enemies you're gonna attract, the more raids we're gonna have. So I'm gonna go for a way, 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 way smaller base than this one, because we actually don't need such a large base. Obviously. So. <laughs> yeah. About that. So good, a smaller base, that means less raids, right? We'll see. Meanwhile, let's just wait for this to cook and see if we're going to unlock new recipes because I'm kind of dying for that serpent stew. We have a ton of serpent meat. And more HP means that I'm going to be a bit safer. Also, I got some uh, <laughs> comments there about this cape, yeah. The horde is attacking, there is the raid. So, let's see how we're going to do this. It's just here, so we're just back at the base and we're going to have a raid. Great! Oh god, I can hear them howling. Yeah, I can hear the brute. Just making sure that they are actually not able to get into the base. One second. Okay, so this is fine. I think it's fine. I think we can sleep on it, it's night time, so we can wake up in the morning with a uh, raid unfolding. 
Yeah, we can sleep through the raid. That's awesome. <laughs> so like I said, I feel totally safe with this raid. Oh my god, I hear thundering sounds in the background, structures being destroyed. Uh-oh, let's see what's there. Day 105. I think they're right out here. Cause I hear them out here. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the frost arrows. Okay, so they're attacking the structures, obviously. I'm going to be... Those structures will be totally destroyed. Oh, God. What was that? Ooh, <laughs> look at him. We got ourselves a fueling berserker. Just gonna wait for the raid to be over. Okay, the horde is retreating. So we are relatively safe. But they're not actually retreating, are they? They're still here. Oh my god, what am I doing? Am I insane or what? Come on, get staggered. I'm actually scared to get out there. Oh my god, what am I doing? Just because of the whole permadeath thing and the level of difficulty we're getting ourselves into. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can wait for them to calm down. Not sure if it's totally wise for me to go and check out on them. Because I don't have any um, fire resistance. Let's go the other way. Because they're still here. They didn't despawn or anything. And I will also need a clever way to deal with the... Yeah, let's just be brave. What the heck. Actually, these trees are kind of hindering my sight here. Okay, apparently they're not here anymore. Where are where are they? Okay, so they totally left. Okay, good. That's good. Whew, and that was the raid. Of course we're gonna have a raid right off the bat. Oh, look at that. Black metal delivery right outside our base. Huh. That's interesting. So, uh, that's interesting. They're totally gonna obliterate the base. These guys, so they're attacking every single structure that they can have in their range, I guess. So, um, not sure what I'm gonna do about that. We're gonna have our gold in here. Why not? I'm not gonna use the gold anyway. Okay, so let's see about the food, because I was stuck on the food here. Turnip stew. Serpent stew. 80. Oh my goodness. Why have I been sleeping on this? Oh. <laughs> Wait, so we can pair that with the... Uh, black soup boar jerky. Hmm. Yeah, we can pair it with sausages either way. We're going to get a huge boost in our HP, so that was going to be super helpful. Yeah, so let's just do that. We're going to have a ton of these. Fortunately, we can uh, only have five at a time. Uh, this is going to be a lot of waiting. It's going to be a lot of waiting. So let's just go for five at a time. Yep, five at a time. Okay, we can do that. So we're gonna have better foods. What else do we need? We have some frost resistance. We have pretty much everything else. I can go and start crafting more arrows, maybe more obsidian arrows or frost arrows. Hold on. Do I have any leftover arrows? Not really, no. <laughs> I do need more frost arrows for this specific event. However, 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not sure what to do. Because we do need better food, oh, that's obviously. So we're gonna need the onion soup as well. I'm gonna go there. We're gonna need some extra sausages. This takes forever to cook. Goodness gracious. And I need to be around it so I don't get it burned. There we go. Okay, we got it. We can have five more. Because I'm kind of going to need 20 of those. If I'm going to be raided while I'm working at the base, it's going to suck. But given that we are in the Black Forest, none of the enemies in there are uh, of a big concern to me. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just wasting time at this point, I guess. Okay, so arrows, arrows, arrows. I, however, I think these would suffice. Let's see for the frost arrows, because I can't remember. 4 times 5, that's 20. And one freeze gland. Yep, one freeze gland. So it's gonna be five. We're gonna have 20. We're gonna have 40 of these. I just wanna be back to sailing, because sailing is where I feel safe. <laughs> totally safe. Okay, big chunks of meat incoming. We're not doing as well as I thought with the serpent meat, but we're still we're still good. Okay, and now just some feathers. Like twenty? Do I need twenty feathers? No, do I need ten feathers? What am I doing? Okay. Now that we have a ton of arrows at our disposal, I do feel a bit safer about raids. Okay, we're gonna have these in here. I'm gonna drop the rest of the obsidian arrows in here. Now we have a nice pack of arrows in case if anything happens. We're running low on these. Yeah, and I totally need to change the Serpent Stew 11. Then we're gonna need four more. Yeah. And I actually can work on the sausages and everything else in the meantime. Just checking to see. See, I had some extra sausages in there. That's a fun word, sausages. Because it's always used inappropriately. So, <laughs> an inappropriate word is funny. If you're five years old, that is. Which I am. Um, <laughs> kidding. So I do have... I do need some extra sausages. Good, 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 good. Also, let's see for the onion soup. We can do the onion soup as, as well. So just onions. That's highly convenient. Bring about 60 onions with me. Then we can do our cooking. What for the serpent stew? I need 20 mushroom, 40 honey, of course. Of course. So that. And 40 honey. And all the serpent's meat. And for the sausages, I don't think I have enough boar meat. Let's see, 5 times 4. That's 20 entrails, 5 thistle, 5 boar meat. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want this to get burned. Because then I will actually burn my eyes. If this gets burned out. Um, let's see. What was I talking? Entrails. Right, 20. 20 entrails. 5 thistle, 5 boar meat. I know there's a mod that's highly convenient. <laughs> we only have 5. And it allows you to uh, craft from your containers. And we'll get that when we do the modded playthrough. Now at this point, let me just grab the meat. The serpent stew. I'm just gonna do a lot of cooking, so we're gonna fast forward this up until this is ready. Okay, now that we have the food ready, we can actually get ready to sail. 
So we're gonna have 20 of each, which is amazing. I'm gonna have to leave some extra sausages in here too. Wait, not those. <laughs> those. Okay. So what I do need to bring with me is the forge. I think you need a level 2 forge for the pickaxe to be repaired. So that's that. Let's just grab that. So let's see. For the forge... Let me see if I remember correctly. 4 coal, 4 of this. We're gonna need 10 wood. And 6 copper. Well, that's a bummer. Really, I only have 5 copper. No matter what, we we do have to go and farm copper. Oh yeah, because I haven't grinded any copper. Okay, so then we're going to take this one. <laughs> we're going to take this one with us. And... Yeah, let me just see if... 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 If I can repair at a forge like this one. Okay, so we got, obviously the forge needs a roof. Hold on. So, okay, I can't repair that, but can we repair like this? Yep, we can. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, skeleton surprise. Look, another event. The more time you spend in the base, the more events we're going to get. But it's fine. We're just going to wait this event out and proceed to the swamp. Maybe sleep on it. A skeleton surprise. This is this is one of those special events. I've also killed bats, so when the bats are gonna be here, I'm sure it's gonna be funny. They're shooting something, I don't know what. <laughs> I just don't want the bats. The bats event I think is the one that's most annoying. Actually, hold on, hold on. No, I can't do that. Jeez. Or do I have... I don't think I do. No, I don't have any... Well, I can hear them so close. What are they, what are they shooting at? Are they just shooting... going for animals? Hold on. Ooh, 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 what I can do, hold on, hold on. What I can do, and I must do, because I said I would do this, is, hold on, anytime now, having this with us at all times now. The root harness. Okay. And also maybe grab the bonus power. Yeah, we can totally do that before leaving. Okay, so let's just upgrade this. Gonna need root, ancient bark, and deer hide. Fortunately, I don't have. <laughs> Skeletons are tired of fighting. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I believe them. But yeah, we need to upgrade the root armor. So we're gonna go this, this, this. We can. Don't know if we have enough root. That's that's a bummer. Deer hide, right? Matters. Okay. Okay, so we are totally doing this. Let's upgrade. Oh, we do have enough. What am I talking about? It's more than enough. 16 armor. Oh, they're they're on the same they're on the same level. This slows me down a bit. But they're the same level. So we can go for that in case of an event. Good, 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 good. That's actually good. So we can go for this, we can go for this, you can stay in here. Yeah, let's go grab the bonus power before the night is over. <laughs> before the day is over, actually, not the night. So let's just go for that. And I will be back with you when I grab that and we're ready to sail. We have a um, rather unpleasant surprise here. There is a fueling killing <laughs> all the creatures around here. So let's see how we're gonna approach him. 
Is there, is there just one or is there more? I think it was just this one. If I'm gonna find more, I'm gonna let you know. Okay, so we're just back here. Let me grab this instead and head back home super fast because it's getting night time. And we're back. Now, we might have another raid here, which I'm really worried about before getting into the actual base, so let's just eat. And make a quick run for it. I don't have raids... Oh, come on. See, this is also I, something I don't want to have, which is water everywhere. Ooh, we're back to safety. I don't know if the raids have an increased chance to occur during night time, so I also don't want to test that one out, so <laughs> let's just sleep on it. Now we have the bone mass power on. And first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna sail. Okay, here we are. So let me just get quickly to the boat. I do believe we have everything. We have food, we have the pickaxe, we have... Let's grab, grab one more of these poison resistance meads. Just in case of any unpleasant surprises occurring there. I also have five more of these. No. Too much. Okay, we're good. We're, we're full up. Oh god, we're full up. Okay. So I'm gonna get into the boat. And I'm gonna catch you when we're gonna arrive at the Elder. Now, uh, I do believe that this is the island, I'm not 100% sure, because I haven't been here in a while. We're just gonna get down and have a look. I'm not entirely sure that this is the right island, but we're gonna check it out nonetheless. I should see some sort of a workbench on our shore, I totally can't remember it. I can't remember anything about it, because the, the Elder was a few episodes ago. I did try to navigate from a drawing that I have, so I've drawn the... Oh, there's the workbench. Oh, we're good. <laughs> I've drawn the map on a piece of paper. Well, it's not a map. It's basically circles where the islands should be, so I know where each island is. So, also I'm apologizing if you're gonna hear any weird noise in the background. That's 
that's the vents from the cooling system going because they're about 38 degrees Celsius right now in the middle of the summer which is around a hundred degrees Fahrenheit so it's pretty hot it's pretty hot in here okay let me just try and uh, park this large thing and then we can be on our way to the Elder Arena and start digging hold on let's just save quickly turn down the SSAO I don't like the SSAO when uh, sailing because it makes everything at a distance I don't see them properly so less graphics equals uh, better better spotting so I can spot the islands better and everything else wow I've missed this uh, this is totally really not safe <laughs> God. oh but we do have a ton of wood in here so I still can't use any of this wood so let me just go straight for the arena I'm super scared I don't want to have a raid right now or a two-star skeleton archer <laughs> but looks like we're good we're in the clear at this point I do hear a skeleton I think it went with the deer also I don't know how safe this is but we've pre-built this a few episodes ago if you recall and try to make it as safe as possible now <laughs> here's the thing I do need to dig underneath this thing so we'll see how this goes we're gonna have our entrance at some point I did forget to oh my god I forgot to bring the hoe uh, which is gonna suck right now so I'm gonna need to craft another one but let's just start digging and see how this whole crazy idea goes but obviously there's a lot of space underneath this thing we can totally have a very well functioning base in there a small little garden here a small little space for uh, building for um, smelters and uh, furnaces and everything unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to rely on any wheat and stuff like that simply because uh, yeah I do need a hoe I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe drop all these here because these are getting kinda heavy quickly run to the base let's hope I don't get a raid meanwhile I do need to craft a hoe super quick 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 so the only reason I'm going back is for the hoe let's just hope this is not gonna be my downfall so we're gonna have food like this oh god I do need to split this right now because otherwise okay so against fuelings this is weak versus fire I can't use that versus fuelings if I use that I'm gonna have uh, fueling shamans totally deleting me so quick let's just grab this do I have a bit of stone in here come on I thought I saw some stone no. <laughs> really we're gonna play this game okay Quickly, let me grab some stone. Good, that's good enough. I just don't want that raid right now with the shamans and everything. Okay, we can upgrade this. I don't care. Uh, let me grab the rest of the items. Good, run back, back to safety. I don't know how much safer am I between those walls, but I have to do this. We do need to move the base. Otherwise, I'm not gonna feel safe <laughs> when, uh, when I'm being raided. So we do need to move underground. Thankfully, the developers allowed us to move underneath the Elder Base, so we're just gonna do that. Whew, back to safety. Okay, now I feel a lot safer. I do need a, some room for this, maybe have them here, like this. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a small area right here. Just so I can have a workbench in here. Hold on. Will this say that I'm going to need a roof on the workbench? Because it can totally be the case. This game is crazy. Oh no! So it counts as a roof. Woo! Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we can have the forge to... Not right now, okay. We're good. We can grab the rest of the wood. Meanwhile, let's just seal the entrance way back. So I don't get attacked or anything. I also could use some extra wood in here. So what do we do? Do we go for extra wood? I drop the rest of the food in here. I don't know what to do, honestly. I probably should get more wood. So I can't get any from here. Okay, so let me just grab, get out here and grab some wood. Just like this, because and we're close, we are, we are near a safe spot. In case of anything, I'm just gonna go run back to the hole <laughs> from where we crawled out of. And I'm gonna seal myself in there up until the base is ready. Okay, 33 is more than enough for a bed. Alrighty. Also, I have to improve this wall because it's not really a wall. <laughs> it just has a ton of gaps. Uh, okay. We're gonna wall ourselves back up in here. Okay, so we're missing requirement. Let's just hope that nothing can get through that. Although I do believe that's not the case. Things can go through there. Okay, let's see what else. Can go into this chest. Some extra food. Runs. Okay, like this. We're definitely gonna get a lot of more stone if I'm gonna start digging underneath here. I'm also gonna need to build a fire. But I do wanna reach the bottom level. So I'm gonna do some stairs here. I'm gonna dig in stairs just because I don't feel safe right now doing anything else in particular. So let's just settle the ground here. Even it up a bit. So we can have a campfire here really soon. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I can go like this. Yeah, totally. I also don't want to dig too much, so that I expose the edges of this whole surf, uh, area. So I think that's the limit right here. Yeah, that's definitely the limit. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward this and let you know when I'm done digging.
There you go, there's a smell of sulfur in the air. And which event is this one now? I really don't know. <laughs> so just kind of started right now. Let me just repair everything. I don't think they will be able to get us in here. Oh, I, I know which one. Uh, it's the one with the circling cores. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the one with the circling cores. I don't think they're, a they're able to get in here. But I also don't want to test it right now, so we're just gonna stay in here, chill, get a rested buff, and keep digging, because we're actually really, really close. Look at all this beautiful space. Actually, it, there's a lot more space in here than I actually thought it would be, which is good news. And after this, after I'm done digging, we're gonna go back home and get all the wood that I can get my hands on. Okay, we are done with the, all the digging and stuff like this, so at this point I just want to go back to the base and grab all the wood that I can get. Now I know I can farm the wood in here in the dark forest, but uh, honestly, I, would do, I, I am going to have a lot of <laughs> sails back and forth. It's faster for me to fill up the boat with the wood and just bring it here than uh, have to farm all this manually. I'm just looking here, just want to be super, super safe, super uh, careful, I mean. Let me just drop the hoe here. Then we can have our potions back where they were. So I'm just going to go quickly for the... It looks like there are no circlings in here, but they could be out here. So I'm just going to quickly take a peek. Um... Okay, there are some remains there. Let's go around. See, like I said, I don't need to fix this wall to make it look like a wall. And then, having this wall around this structure, I would feel um, totally safe. Well, not for air uh, raids. <laughs> not from air raids. I'm still scared of air raids, but uh, at this point I think we're good. I need to find a way to seal that entrance so as uh, monsters won't get me, but we'll uh, deal with that in the next episode. Right now I just want to go get back home and we're gonna wrap up things uh, there when we get back to the base, to the other base. So sadly this episode had uh, little adventures in it, but the dangers are still here in the shape of blue big things that can delete us in one swing. Well, we can't die in one swing now, but still, a troll is a troll. Okay, quickly just want to get back to the boat as quickly as possible and make a run for it back home. I'll catch you back when we get to the other shore, where we're going to wrap up things for this, uh, for this episode.
Okay, we are here. We're back to the base. To the old base, that is. <laughs> I felt way safer in the new base. And that's a shaman right there. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not poisoning me. We're just gonna run for it. Quickly, quickly, because it's dark and I can't see anything. So there's... Oh, no. There's one card here. Whew, we made it. Okay, so we're back in here. So I'm gonna have to wrap the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, we're gonna have this episode and the next one will be preparation for the next base and hauling all the goods to the next base. And then we're gonna take it from there, exploring the plains and obviously after we're done dealing with the plains, we're gonna go for the mistlands. So thank you all so much for your support, your comments, let me know what you think or what things sh I should improve. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.